Sup guys, here's something I bet you didn't know. Our Chevelle's broke, again. She made five passes on three total teardowns. Those are great odds. Go ahead. Uh. I don't really know. So this is the original small block 400 that my papa built years ago. And so he raced it and then it was in my 72 Chevy Love drag truck early in high school. This engine was originally built probably 20, 25 years ago. Something like that, super long time. Um, when we put it in this car the first time, we ended up spinning a rod bearing, took it back out, rebuilt the whole thing. I wish I would have had the heads checked because they've been on the, tr the car for forever. They've been on the engine for forever. We didn't have them checked. And so we ended up, it was running a little bit warm one night. We checked the oil, had water in the oil. So we ended up pulling the heads and uh, turns out it had blown a head gasket. Ended up taking the heads, having those checked and they were warped. So they resurfaced them. So now we've got them back pretty much ready to put this thing back together. And if we get the engine back together this time, we shouldn't have any more problems. Fingers crossed. Speaking of problems, now that we know what we're doing because we have learned on this and building this for the first time, yep. brake yep. lines, transmission lines, we can do all that. A whole bunch of things that we can address now that we can do way better than we did the first time. So that's another thing. We're gonna go ahead and pull this front clip off, get the engine out of here, just create plenty of space in here. And we're gonna go ahead, run new brake lines for the front here, run those new transmission lines, redo some of the wiring. Some things that we can do better now that should have been done the first time. Oh, and add stuff too. Like we got a catch can now that yep. we didn't originally have. We did not have a coolant catch can, we're gonna add that. It's just gonna be a better car all the way around when we get it back together. So. Yep, so let's go ahead and get this front clip off and get to work. Get it off. You want to see something unfortunate? You want to see something unfortunate? Right there. Fiberglass parts. Paint's already cracked. Dude, cheap. Man, cheap. We thought we did such a good job here. See that right there? That's a steel braided ouch. Steel braided ouchie. Steel braided ouch. Ouchie. Yeah, ouchie. 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 <laughs> Well, the motor's out. The motor's out. We made a miss. Only slightly. Only slightly. We tried to avoid that at like all costs. It just didn't work. It, it never does. No. And bad part is when we actually took the drive shaft out, nothing came out. Yeah, nothing came out until we actually picked it up, which I mean, I guess was to be expected because it's all settled here. So when you put it at an angle, it all runs to the back. So. Yeah, and then it was just a giant puddle. It was. So, anyways. Motor's out, so now we're pretty much gonna get ready to start disconnecting this transmission, get it apart, because we're actually gonna put a new pan gasket in this thing because it leaks just sitting around every now and then. So we're gonna put a new pan gasket in it. Right now, I've got the transmission cooler unhooked. I'm replacing the fittings there because what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually run steel braided line from uh, the transmission to the radiator and actually use the integrated transmission cooler there. So I'm putting these AN fittings in here. That'll clean that up a lot, just make it look a lot better. So then we're gonna separate this thing out, pressure wash this, make sure it's good and clean, replace that gasket, and then this thing will be good to go. But after that, we're gonna pretty much get ready to start putting the heads on this motor, and then we're gonna address what few things we have to address on the car itself. So that's not gonna really be that big of a deal. That stuff's not gonna take very long. All this is gonna be the time consuming stuff. So we're gonna hopefully get this done get it back in the car after we do that other stuff. Hopefully, this is the last time we have to go through with this. Brother, this is clean. It's a little better, don't it? It is not greasy no more. Not greasy. I wish we would have done this when we built it the first time. I don't remember if I've ever actually put a pan gasket in this thing. I don't think I have. 
but it's leaking like crazy. So everything under here was actually super, super wet. So that's what we're gonna do next. And the gasket kit actually came with the gasket, a new uh, transmission filter, and a couple other things. So I guess we're probably actually gonna replace all of that stuff. I mean, I might as well, it, it's off the car. Yeah, I mean, may as well, while we're here, you got a little stand, we can flip it upside down, get all this stuff replaced, and then hopefully we won't have any issues out of this thing for a very, very long time. That, that's to having hope. Yeah, but I gotta say, this has been a good transmission, man. This thing's been tortured for the last, I can't tell you how long, and we've not had any issues with it. So I'm, I'm pretty excited to get it back in the car, go racing and- Torture it some more while it's clean. More. Bro, while we got the transmission trainer out there, I want you to look right here. What I thought at the time was a good idea with these brake lines. So I ran it down there, just kind of bent it under there, ran it along there, and then along the firewall right here. Dude, that looks absolutely terrible. Did you bend this with your hands? I don't remember, to be honest. It looked but, like you took a like a can of Coke or something to fit the corners, yeah, that. like down there. Yeah, I think we're gonna absolutely completely redo that and probably come from the master cylinder down to the frame and probably along the back side of the frame here because I got those little clamps. If you saw the square body, that joker's clean. This one could look that good. Yeah, it's also a race car. And the hood's gonna be off a lot, and people are gonna see it. It's gotta so, look good, bro. So it has to look good. It's got to look good. It's still. We, we got the, the spindles here now. They're rusting. The brake calipers are rusting and stuff like that. I mean, there's just a lot of stuff we could have done so much better. So, what better time than now when everything's absolutely apart? You know what I'm saying? Let's do it, dude. I mean, Let's do it. it's a Coop's House way. Gotta, we gotta, gotta do it right. We gotta set standards. Gotta do it right. Gotta set standards. Been at least 10 years since his pan's been off. What do you think we're gonna find? Uh, probably a really what? bad gasket. Probably. And no fluid. Well, no, there's, no, there's gonna be no yeah, fluid. because it, it got drained. We drained it. <laughs> so there was a couple of these bolts that weren't very tight at all. So that might have been part of our leak problem, but you know, we're here. May as well replace the gasket. Might as well. See if uh, we can get the seal. If you, I can get the pan off. Uh, go get your flathead. <laughs> Welcome back. Go flathead. Go flathead. Go flathead. Let's see, what, let's see what we cook with down here. Oh, oh, it popped oh. loose. Oh, it is. Moment of truth. Oh. Actually, we're going to clean this thing out. Why it look like that? <laughs> Where'd that come from? <laughs> it's leaking again. Sludgy. It is very sludgy. Sludgy. Look at the beautifulness of grossness. Yeah. Look, dude, we, we like grit so much, it's even in the transmission. Yeah, dude. So, my papa built this transmission, man, years and years and years ago. So, this is the one that's been in, that's been with this motor for as long as I can remember since he built the motor when I was little. I mean, he's had this transmission for years. The only thing that's ever been done since he built it, I do remember that um, we were racing one weekend and it busted the case. So, the case has been replaced. Everything out of the other transmission got put in this one. So, it's uh, pretty cool kind of going in here because I've never seen inside this thing since he built it. Yeah, and... It is a very sentimental piece. It is a sentimental piece. This and that motor. Yep. So I'll have this probably till the day I die. So. Mmm. Mm. Tasty, Tasty, huh? Tasty. A little, a little bite. A little bite. <laughs> oh, I'd say that was uh, probably restricting the flow in this transmission a little bit. What do you I mean, think? Just, just a little bit. I mean, I mean, it's not too bad. But I mean, I, I I would personally change that out. I mean, we're looking at like what fifty percent flow here, maybe. Yeah, I mean, it's better than zero percent I mean, flow. It's better than zero. I mean, yeah. hey, but you know, so we got it off. Might as well change that. I, I, I mean, I would. Here, you know, you know, know, that's what I that's what I would do. Yeah. 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 <laughs> After some intense, hard labor and dirty hands. Back together, brother. Back together. Back together. I was thinking about it. This thing has leaked since I was driving this truck, the, since this was in that love in like high school, bro. Yeah, that was like 40 years ago. That's, wow. Wow. My best friend's old, everybody. Hurts my feelings. Anyway, <laughs> now, brand new gasket, brand new filter. This thing's not going to know what to do with all that fluid pressure. <laughs> it's going to no. be like... It's gonna be like, <coughs> you know what I'm saying? It's gonna cough out all the fluid. It's gonna it's gonna blow this gasket because it's not used to it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but nah, hopefully, 
Hopefully now this thing will stay clean. It's gonna have brand new transmission cooler lines. It's gonna have brand new gasket, brand new filter, all that. So we should be good to go, I would think. Yep, so let's take this off and put the engine on it. Get this off, get the motor on here, and it's about time to make this thing rumble again. Well, we also have to do this. We talked about that. We'll, we'll do that later. Okay, we'll do it later. Let's do this. Yeah. It's on the stand. On the stand. So, pretty much time to roll this jugger to the back, start getting it cleaned up. This little bit of surface rust is right here on the main oh, surface. Nah, dude, that just adds character, dude. It's fine, bro. Yeah, well, we're going to take the flap disc, grind all this down. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're going to yeah. take off like all the material. Weight yeah. reduction. You mean warped heads? Nah. Nah. We'll Ain't got to worry about we'll that. Just make it work. What do we have here, brother? <gasps> you bought stickers? I bought stickers, and they sent me some race car parts. With no. It. Dude, that's, that's the best, it's bro. the best deal ever, bro. You buy, you buy stickers, they send you free car oh, parts. Yeah. They just, it's, it's amazing. It's my favorite part right here. <laughs> All the rest of this, anything else we find in this box? Bones. I've never done this before. Brand new. What a rookie. Yeah. So... Yeah, I've never done this by myself before, and I've never put in head studs, so this is going to be a learning experience for me. Hey, if we got a race car, what kind of race car drivers are you if you can't work on your own car? That's true. I've helped with this, and I've had help with this, but as far as doing this by myself, never done it. I can tell you what we can do. I put can a Cummins it. in a square body. We can do that. We can do that. And we can pull this motor out real good by now. Yeah, we've done it four times, three yeah. times. So you have a tap set. What's going on? So apparently, you have to clean the threads, make sure they're good to go so that these things actually grab like they're supposed to and all that stuff. Again, I've never done this before, so I'm learning this as I go. I'm plus, what they say. Plus, it'd probably be a good idea to it's tap it anyways. Probably not a bad Because idea. They, they do be old. A little dirty. A little old and dirty. Plus, right here, you can see what kind of crap it's actually taken out. Okay. So Focus. There we go. You see it's taken out. So it's probably not a bad idea anyway. Yeah. We're doing that, and then we're gonna start putting it together and trying to figure out exactly how it's supposed to go. I wanna make sure everything's right this time. Do it right, so we ain't gotta do it again. Exactly, I'm sick of it. Even though it's the first time that we're doing it. It is, it is, but it'll be right. By ourselves. It'll be right, I hope. One way to find out. Truth, just do it. My brother in Christ, it is dark time. It is dark. We had some other stuff we had to uh, come up with. Like what? Like thread sealer and a couple other things. And we still don't really have everything that we need, like a torque wrench. You know, I have been talking about getting one for the longest time. Same. And we have yet to do it. And now we need one. Yeah. But we don't have one. And uh, why, why do we need one? Because when we install these ARP head bolts, studs, studs. Studs, studs. Um, you have to torque these actually down to 80 foot pounds. So I'm not that calibrated. You know what I'm saying? And we'll just guesstimate, dude. Yeah, right. Whatever. Now, <laughs> we'll pretty much probably get to the point of being ready to put the heads on or getting the heads put on and actually being ready to tighten everything down. But other than that, that may be about as far as we get with this little project until we get a torque wrench and then we can throw it all together, get it in the car, or be done with that. Yeah, so get the head studs in and all that, throw a tarp out. That yeah. way nothing gets in because... This side does need to be cleaned up, obviously, but we, we this side did get cleaned. So it looks it brand new, bro. Looks brand new. Although, how many times did it, you know, run? Like five. Not that, many. That's it. Not many. So this is a whole brand new bottom end, but you know, it, it is what it is. But sure, it sure looks brand new. Sure looks brand new. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? Anyway. Yeah. So let's get these headsets in and figure out what we're gonna do from there. Yes.
That it's, looks a little wild. I'd say uh, it's a stud. It's like a porcupine. <laughs> little hedgehog. Yeah. So we got our head studs installed. This is the first time I've ever done this, and I kept catching myself kind of getting a little bit sidetracked and putting them in the wrong spot and stuff like that. But I think we got it figured out now. So I was reading a little bit further into the directions and stuff like that. Apparently, and you guys can let me know in the comments if I'm wrong, but apparently you have to let this thread sealer sit before you actually torque it down. So what we may do is just go ahead and throw these heads on, kind of get them down a little bit tight, and then that way all this stuff can sit, and then I can actually torque the head nuts down once we actually let everything sit and dry. So I think that's what we're going to do next. We're going to make sure those heads are good and clean. We're going to go ahead and get them thrown on here with the gaskets and then put the nuts and everything on. Just kind of get it tight. What do you think? Yeah, go ahead and just get it set. That way nothing gets into the chambers. Yeah, but it'll also be like, hey, it's almost together. <laughs> yeah, and it'll look a little bit more decent. A little more it'll be a little dressed up, you know? Yeah, I'm so ready to get this thing done. Yeah, I'm ready to hear it go clappity clap, you know? So upon further inspection, what have we ran into? Bro, I don't even know, okay? <laughs> Whatever it was that they sent us for this head gas or for this gasket set is dead, dead, dead wrong. So there's the head gasket. Now you tell me <laughs> where that lines up because uh, I ain't seen it. So you got two two bolts here, one bolt here, and there's two right here that does not match yeah the, the top at least matches i've looked at this in a hundred different ways trying to figure out how this is supposed to work and it physically cannot work i'm just i'm just not seeing it <laughs> i'm not seeing it even a little bit yeah so we read the description on that that's for a 6 0 and up yeah so i don't i don't know man so if i remember correctly that's technically a 6 0 small block 400 is technically a 6 0 i think because a 350 is a 5 7 yeah um, so I believe the 6.0 is the 400, if I remember correctly, but the pattern's not even right, bro. No. Like, this is so far off, it's insane. Not only that, here's the valve cover gaskets. And they are huge compared so, to what we have. Yeah, so I'm wondering, honestly, I'm not a big block guy, so I have no idea, but I'm honestly kind of wondering if for some reason... They sent us a head gasket set for a big block. That, that could be a possibility. So, I mean, because look at that. Like, looking at the size of this, chances are they're at, this is for a big block. I believe 100% this is for a big block. Luckily, we have a 454 we'll be working on later, so this isn't, like, just absolutely wasted. If we yeah. need this, we have it. But now we're at a dead standstill on the Chevelle project. Not because that. It's late at night and nothing's open. So we late can't... at night. We can't get another gasket set. So... And today, we, we got to finish up the video today. So, yeah, like, I mean, yeah, we only had today. Yeah, this is it. So, I mean, there's a whole bunch of stuff that we still want to do, but just don't know if we're going to have the time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Especially now, that took forever. If we had known that that was a problem, we'd have worked on something else other than this, figured out that was a problem, went ahead and got the gasket set that we needed, but we didn't know. I mean, we just kind of trusted that that was right. Yeah, I mean, we, we should should have looked at it when we got it but i mean Should've, but i didn't think it was gonna be a problem but then again this this thing wasn't even tore apart at the no. time either you know no i wish i'd known man but you know hindsight's 2020 it is what it is sometimes things happen we don't know why but it is especially around here things always happen hey it's scoop's house anything can happen you know house, so. what are you done i'm drying my sorrows and break clean you okay buddy I just come to accept, bro, there is no hope left for my generation. You got a bunch of young kids working in the parts houses. They don't know nothing about this stuff. Yeah, it's old, old school. They're, they're, they're old used to stuff. new stuff, dude. Man. Like the nice 2024s, all the aluminum bodies. Man, this is the stuff I was raised on. So it's like, I don't know. I don't know the difference. But I had a kid tell me the other day the small block Chevy 400 didn't exist. Really? I got three. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, like, got one here, one somewhere back there. Yeah, he's like, he's like, small. Oh, Chevy didn't make a, a small block 400. Like, you want to bet, brother? It is what it is, man. I don't yeah. know. Not really much else I can do with this. I'm thinking just throw a coat of paint on the oil pan. I guess it does need it anyway. So yeah, it, it, it'd be kind of looking a little rough. Yeah, it's cleaned up. But I mean, I hey, if we can't get that done, at least, at least get something done. Yeah. Feel a little accomplished tonight, you know? Make myself feel a little bit better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, what color are we going with? Some gloss black, brother. Some, some black. Simple, you know, just whatever. 
Man, we should have painted it red. I covered that up. Yeah, it would have been kind of cool, I guess. You know, at least match the old, the old filter. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It is what it is, but... You got to do what you got to do. True. You, know I mean? you want to uh -huh. do so much. Yeah, so let's knock that out and, you know, yeah. kind of call it a night, I guess. Brother, that looks brand spanking new. Good as new, my Good as new. Don't get no better than that. No, dude, I, that almost looks factory. It looks brand new. Brand new. <laughs> it's like you bought it that way. Yeah, I mean, except it was spray paint, you know? Yeah, you know what don't look like you bought it that way? What? All this crap right here. Yeah, that that definitely needs to be redone. I'm not gonna lie to you, the amount of pride I had in that when we first did it. <laughs> dude, was you were so sick. proud. <laughs> I was like, bro, was like, nobody can do it like this. And then just, just look at it. That is not factory. <laughs> I hate it. It needs to be redone. So, yeah. Brake line right here. I figured out how much, like, how much it adds if I have a certain radius to the brake lines and stuff. So, anyway, now I'll be able to put those together and actually make them look good. I have an idea of where I'm going to run them, how I'm going to secure them, and all that. So, I'm going to be able to make this Joker look absolutely clean. Also, I would like to point out that somehow, I, I don't know how this happened, but oh, the, somehow, oh, yeah. somehow my starter solenoid got busted. Right, so, got to focus. There we go. Somehow my starter solenoid got busted. I don't know how, so now I've got to round up one of those to put it it, in here. It's probably because it's just been sitting for so long, it dry rotted. I, 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 I mean, I we haven't raced this thing in a year. Yeah, it's metal though, so I, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't for, know. Hey, Florida weather, you know, you never know. I it'd mean, it like could have rusted from the rain, you know? It'd be like that, <laughs> but you know, it's okay. We'll put one in it, we'll get it back in there, get the motor put back in, get all the stuff looking like it's supposed to. And it's time to go racing, brother. I miss it. It's been too long. I am ready to hear the thing freaking go down the track, bro. Dude, that makes two of us, and hopefully it hooks this time. But maybe. Hey, speaking of hooks. Speaking of hooks. I don't know if we should mention it right now, but we, we have got some big announcements coming, guys. Oh uh, yeah. If I mean, if you follow us on Facebook, you know what we're talking about. But I mean, we got we got some big news. You're about to be a different animal, my guy. Oh yeah. Uh, I, I really want to say something about it, but I should wait. I should wait. I should wait. Should we give him a tease? Like, just a little, 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 little? I mean, I don't know. No, 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 no All we right. shouldn't. Because you know what? You know what? You guys want to know what's coming up next? You got to subscribe to the channel and come back and watch the next video. Oh, I, that's what I'm saying. We'll tell you in the next video. That's what I'm saying. Tell next you. video, we're going to announce it. It's going to be good stuff. It's going to be great. <laughs> it's going to be great. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm kind of excited about seeing it. In my oh, yeah. Now, so, anyway, yeah. Big stuff coming for the Chevelle, man. Wish we could have got this thing back in there. but Yeah. Anyway. It's kind of looking a little sad. We're going to wrap it up. That way nothing gets in, in the yeah. whatever. I can't think right now. It's late. It's got to be protected. Yeah, it's got to be protected. We don't need anything getting inside of it. It's going to be protected. But, guys, again, we have some absolutely huge things coming for the channel. We are super, super excited about it. But if you enjoyed this video, check this one out right here. I know you'll like that one. But we'll catch you on the next one. Deuces.